Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, March 27th. I'm James Spann. Man, it's cold this morning. A lot of folks, in fact, almost everybody in the 20s, a slow warm-up coming ahead, uh, coming up in the days ahead. And by the time the weekend gets here, a little rain to deal with. Uh, we'll go in there and check some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the Inverness Skycam. A 280 wide open, as typically is the case at 5 o'clock. And it's cold. There's a look at downtown Fayette and way down south in Escambia County. There's a look at downtown Atmore. Well, the big trough over the east is slowly lifting out, and that means a warming trend in coming days. It'll be a slow process, but we'll get there. But, man, look at those numbers. Are you kidding me? At uh, 5 o'clock this morning, it was 24 in Haleyville, 25 in Cullman. Ouch. Spring break week for so many. 20s for Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, Tuscaloosa, even Montgomery at 29. And around the nation, again, there's no place to hide. Even Miami, Florida has dropped into the 40s this morning as they are shivering. And again, some folks up on the Canadian border, below zero. There's a look at the watch warning map. Basically, it's all freeze warnings for the deep south this morning. And even tomorrow morning, while most places will be in the mid-30s, the colder pockets will go below freezing again. And the rain for the next seven days, this carries us through Wednesday morning of next week. The numbers are starting to ramp up uh, with the amounts of one to two inches here. And uh, we definitely will be trending wet as we approach the weekend. This is the OZGFS ballot at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. Big trough over the east is starting to lift out. We still have a dry northwest flow aloft. The sky today will be sunny. And, hey, a good chance we'll hit the 50s today. That's still 15 degrees below average, but we're – moving in the right direction. Tomorrow morning, again, I think a lot of folks are going to see a light freeze. Not everybody, not as cold as this morning, but uh, I'd say lows between 30 and 35 for most spots. But during the day, we warm up into the 60s. The sky will be partly to mostly sunny. Now, Friday, we note the GFS is trying to print a little rain for the northern third of the state. Uh, the moisture is going to be very limited but we'll mention the chance of a shower Friday afternoon north of Birmingham mainly. So keep that in mind. If you've got something planned outdoors, we should reach the mid-60s. And Saturday as we kick off the weekend, a good chance we finally hit 70. And the GFS is showing a little rain mainly over the far northern part of the state. Uh, seems like there might be a little warm front trying to develop up there. Uh, just... For most of the day, I really think the day Saturday will be dry. The better organized rain should be over Tennessee and far, far north Alabama, if this verifies. And we'll keep a look at uh, watching model trends carefully. But the day will feature a high in the low 70s, cloudy periods, maybe a shower, but most of the day dry. Now, this is Easter Sunday. A pretty good trough is north of us. A big upper low is off the California coast. And down below that, a cold front is approaching. And Sunday looks relatively wet. We'll forecast a good chance of showers and storms, but with the dynamic forcing so far north, uh, limited instability, we don't expect a severe weather problem, maybe some thunder. So a good chance of showers and storms Sunday and Sunday night. And then Monday, we get into drier air. And the air is not colder. In fact, with those thickness values, uh, we might see low to mid-70s on Monday. So after a round of showers and storms, a break on Monday. And then Tuesday, a new storm system uh, gathers to the west over Texas. Moisture starts to come back. There could be a shower on Tuesday, but probably this will be the next uh, big rain day. This is Wednesday of next week. A good upper trough to the west. Down below that is surface low near Starkville, Mississippi. And that would suggest a very wet day with showers and thunderstorms here. And we'll just see have to have to see how it, you know, of the mesoscale features evolve, that would suggest maybe some severe weather with good upper support. Uh, the high should be in the low to mid-70s if this is right. There should be decent instability. Just something to watch. There's no way today you can resolve this a week in advance. Just be aware that that might be a severe weather issue toward the middle of next week. And then 
On the following day, early morning, the 4th, on Thursday, the surface low is near Gadsden, and very heavy rain and storms continue over southeast Alabama and still kind of wet here. So that could be a big rain event around Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 11th of April. That looks dry and mild. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs>